Hi, and welcome back to this episode 9 of Discovering Dataflix with Johan Brotfeld. Last time we did this uh, grid list where you can uh, update and edit the uh, orders. And today we want to add a search field for this list so we can find specific orders that we want to look at. And here we have the order grid list. And up here we want to add a web form. And we want to add a button. And the web form should be called date search and uh, set the label to date and the button call that search button and you can see you already have the on click function here but it doesn't look too good we want to change that a little bit so what we can do is set pe uh, column span to let's say 83 and for this to work two three uh, we need to add uh, set pe column count to the entire page so then you know how many columns you have in total Let's say we have 12, and now it actually looks better. But we also want to set the PE label offset to 50 so that we have more place for the form and less for the label. And this is a date form, so I want to add that as well. Now, this is a date form, and the button. And set p column span to two, and in order to get them on the same line, I need to um, yeah, let's change this to four. Let me get it a little bit wider, and uh, we need to set p column index to the same as the above or higher if I set it to 6 then the search button will end up out there if I set it to 5 I will get a bit closer but in this case I want it directly on the side so I think that looks good now we have the layout we will move on to the functionality and in the procedure on click, when we click this button, we want to get the, uh, the date uh, from the date form. So we need a container. String is date search. This is our variable. And we do, actually, we do web gets. In Windows applications, you only do get. In web applications, you do web get. And uh, we want the ps value. Of. U. Date search. And we want to move that to our new string. And since it is the data dictionary that is querying the database and, uh, and collecting the data into the uh, list, we need to send this as date search to the data dictionary. And we actually have a local instance of the data dictionary we can use here. So, um, we need a property string ps processing date search that we can use to send this value over to the data dictionary. 
So now when we have that, we can actually go down here and say set ps date search of o order data dictionary to s date search, our local variable. So now we have moved the date that we selected from the form into the function and from the function up to the data dictionary. So now the data dictionary knows what to look for. Now we want to tell the data dictionary to rebuild the constraint. dictionary and then we tell it to fetch the data request find of order to order the dictionary greater or equal than order dot file number by index one so it will basically go through the entire file uh, and take every value that it found, finds and that's okay for now you might want to use another index and stuff like that if you get a lot of data but it's sufficient for now so now we need to set up the constraint, so we add a procedure on constraint, and this is a built-in constraint function procedure in the dictionary, and we need to have the string. In this uh, procedure as well, so uh, we do a get because now we're not in the web; we're just getting it from uh, up here. So we want to get the ps date search to our local s date search, and if s date search not equals blank then we actually have a date and we want to constrain on it so constraint order dot date equals is date search so here we set the constraint that the order date should be equals to date search. And then in the button, when we do the request find, uh, the data dictionary knows what to constrain on. And now we actually have the data in the data dictionary. Now we only need to do, need to do one more thing, and that's to get the data into the uh, list. So we do one last call, refresh list from data dictionary of o order list grid. That's the name of the grid down here. So we refresh the list from the DD. And let's see if this works now. Go in, we take a date, and since we have January the 30th, two times we want to search for that, and it looks great. And uh, if we delete this one, then it should not have a constraint anymore. That's great. And now, uh, 2015, 02, 05. Let's see if we can find that as well. Yes, we can. 
and um, that's all for this video if uh, you have any questions or uh, uh, anything you want to uh, want me to make a video about you can email me at uh, jb at front minus it dot com front and um, ask me to do a video about anything uh, otherwise I will continue to post videos whenever I uh, find a new idea in the data dictionary or Netflix framework. So, bye for now.